there's a feeling in the air that you can't get anywhere, except in Calgary. <laughs> Show of hands, how many of you recognize that phrase? A few of you. There's a feeling in the air that you can't get anywhere, except in Calgary. I taste a thousand yesterdays, and I love the magic ways of Calgary. I find it challenging to actually speak those words because they're meant to be sung. Those words are part of the lyrics to a television jingle called Hello Calgary. The jingle aired on global TV in the early 1980s. Actually, at the time, global TV was known as CFAC channels two and seven. Rather than subject you to my woeful rendition of that jingle, let's take a look at the original spot. There's a feeling in the air that you can't get anywhere except in Calgary. I taste a thousand yesterdays and I love the magic ways of Calgary. From the mountains close at hand, I can look across the Makes no difference where I go, you're the best hometown I know. Do you know that the music and lyrics were unique to Calgary? That ad actually aired in various North American markets in the early 80s, where the appropriate city name was simply inserted into the lyrics. <laughs> hello Milwaukee, hello Rochester, hello Calgary. However, as you could see, the images used in this spot were clearly local, and the ad celebrated our city as it was at that time. Today, I'm here to pay homage to our city, my hometown. However, I want to honor our city another way, rather than take the same tactic that was used in that Hello Calgary TV spot. I want to pay tribute to Calgary by focusing on an underappreciated element about the city. And in doing so, I'm here to convince you that Crayola Crayons needs to introduce a new crayon color. That's right, a crayon. My tribute to Calgary focuses on color. And I can't think of a better way than by introducing a new crayon with a unique color I call Calgary Brown. <laughs> Calgary Brown. You might be questioning why I've chosen such a plain, some might even argue, uninspiring color for our city. Well, let me peel off the wrapper to this crayon and reveal what's inside. Let's start with its name. Now, I suppose there might be some that use our unofficial city nickname and try and call it Cowtown Brown, but I won't have it. This crayon is meant to be a tribute to our city. And so the city name has to be featured in the crayon color. Now there are some who will take our city name and rhyme it with the word dairy. Calgary, dairy. Acceptable, I suppose, given our Western heritage. And after all, don't we call ourselves Calgarians? There are others who might stretch out the name of our city to three syllables and call it Calgary Brown. Now, unless you have a job announcing for a local sports team, your Calgary Flames, I say no thank you. <laughs> Stick to what the locals call it. You see, true Calgarians know how to distinguish visitors from locals. We call it Calgary. The obvious question, why the color brown? What on earth would motivate me to choose this color? Let me paint you a picture. When I say brown, Picture a pale, slightly earthy tone, like prairie grass in the early spring or fall around harvest time. Beige, 
tan, sandstone. This is the shade of brown I'm referring to. Now, I could claim that the brown is a tribute to early Calgary architecture. Did you know that before we had the nickname of the Stampede City, we were called the Sandstone City? After the Great Fire of 1886, city officials recommended that public and commercial buildings be made out of sandstone rather than wood. If you're unfamiliar with any of these, just take a look across 7th Avenue at Old City Hall. Or head west a few blocks and look at the Palliser Hotel on 9th Avenue. The Grain Exchange Building on 1st Street. Or Knox United Church on the corner of 4th and 6th Avenue Southwest. As I said, I could claim that this historical element is the inspiration for the crayon's color. But that's not quite it. You see, anyone who's ever spent four seasons in Calgary will recognize that there's a distinct hue across our city landscape. From October to May, we live in a unique shade of brown. Khaki concrete complexion, a beige suburban sprawl, leafless tree, dead grass brown. Just this past weekend, I was driving north along Deerfoot Trail, and I noticed how brown all our green spaces were looking. Sure, Calgary does enjoy green summers, and in the winter, bright white snow can cover the ground. But our summers are all too short, and in the winter, the temperature will rise, thankfully due to Chinooks, but the snow melts, the city trucks spread their gravel, and all our parks, front yards, and back lawns just seem to bleed brown. Take a look outside right now. Eight months of the year, our city is primed in Calgary brown. If you're new to this city, get used to it. Ah, but anyone who's ever colored with a crayon knows. There's magic deep inside crayons. And the more you use one color, the more you discover secret colors will appear. And that's how it is with Calgary Brown. Just like the more time you spend in our city, the more you'll discover secret colors across the landscape. Like flecks of prairie crocus purple. Just like the flower that shows up in the springtime on parks and hills like Nose Hill. In this crayon, there are streaks of chicken on the way yellow, highlighting that unique and playful color of this restaurant's takeout boxes. There are shades of Peace Bridge Red, a color you'll discover if you head along the Bow River Pathway, go west past Princess Island, and come upon this landmark bridge. There are shades of Riley Park Green and Aquamarine outdoor pool in this crayon. Being a native Calgarian and having a summer birthday, I know what it's like to squeeze every ounce of summertime fun out of our public parks. Riley, Confederation, Princess Island. And then there are those hidden oases of the outdoor swimming pools like Bowview and Highwood. I recognize that people color for all sorts of reasons. Some look for inner peace and tranquility when they cover when they color. Well, there are hints of moonlight silver in this crayon. Silver and brown? Absolutely. The next time you find yourself outside at night, head up to some high ground, like Crescent Heights, just across the Bow River, and peer at the downtown core. I've always thought that the downtown core at nighttime is like a giant lighthouse, and it sparkles and casts a ghostly light over a sea of brown. Some like to color for inspiration. Well, with this crayon, you'll notice flashes of BVC blue rise from the page, just like our college rises from the downtown core. And lastly, should you ever find yourself coloring in the late afternoon, you might just notice that a Chinook Arch orange covers the page. Anyone who's ever been here in the winter will appreciate our day might be gray and overcast, but when that sun dips below the Chinook Arch in the west in the late afternoon, the whole city is cast in a warm orange glow. So there you have it. 
Calgary Brown. Its name and its color speak to all that's unique about our city. Makes no difference where I go. You are the best hometown I know. Hello, Calgary. Hello, Calgary Brown. Crayola, have I got a new crayon for you.